Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Kings or Seven here, back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all out there, uh, Kings and Queens, and I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And I'm back with another Cincinnati Bengals franchise episode. I do believe this is going to be episode number five, and we got a lot to cover before we do get into gameplay. First off, I know a lot of you guys, just like I am, get a little bit frustrated watching the gameplay sometimes, so I went over to Matt 10 and I imported his his is recommended all madden sliders so these are the sliders i'm gonna be working on for gameplay and if you guys are running a madden franchise uh, alongside me i highly recommend these sliders i mean this guy matt 10 every single year he puts in endless hours into testing sliders and stuff like that uh but i'm just gonna quickly scroll through it you can pause the video if you want to uh copy any of these sliders but yeah this is what i'm rocking with and then i saw at the main menu or the main hub of our Cincinnati Bengals franchise. We have a lot to cover. We got player meeting. This is a short week, so we're taking on the J Jacksonville Jaguars and rookie Trevor Lawrence. So it's the last two first round, uh, first overall picks in the last two drafts. We'll be facing off two quarterbacks. So let's see, what is this cutscene going to be? All right, we're talking to, I don't even know, I think that's our, our left guard. Obviously, we have a short week this week, so not much time to create an elaborate game plan. With that being the case, I want to stress how important it is that we play fundamentally sound football. Yeah, that is a left guard, Xavier. Definitely with so little recovery time, a lot of you guys are going to be less than 100%. Could lead to sloppy football and mental errors. All right, is that all we got to say exactly? And we're better than that. Stress the team that it's imperative to take care of the ball and be the team capitalizing off mistakes rather than being the ones making them. Okay, fundamentally sound. Beat the Jaguars and commit one or fewer turnovers. You guys know I throw a lot of interceptions every single game. Um, so it's going to be tough. But maybe with the sliders turned down to 18 interceptions, um, we should be good now. But let's see. Press conference QB1 check. And it seems like the media is questioning Joe Burrow. Coach, we're approaching the end of the first quarter of the season. What more do you need out of Joe Burrow? Um, just build chemistry. He doesn't have to carry the team. Uh, we have a lot of weapons that should be helping him out. We just want him to be better. Okay, yeah, yeah. Basically, exactly what I... All right, beat the Jaguars and score four-plus offensive touchdowns. So they want us to put up at least 28 points worth of touchdowns. Wow, what players are ready to negotiate? Let's take a look at this. Jesse Bates, Ricardo Allen, Larry Ogunjobi, Auden Tate. All right, the one player I'm for sure needing to re-sign, no matter what, is Jesse Bates. we got to give him... Look at all that cap room we have. That's insane. All right, let me just... Wait, what was the fair offer? I was just scrolling up. 91 million is a fair offer. So I'll I'll bump you up. You're my guy. I'll give you 94 million. Add a couple of 3 million extra. That's a good offer. Glad we got the deal done. I am as well, Jesse Bates. You've played very well so far. And then all the other players, I think I'm going to hold off for now on re-signing. Or the ones that are at least eligible to re-sign for now. But uh, I think that's everything, right? Scout college players, I'll do that. I'll, show, I'll give you guys like a, 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 what's it called? I'll give you guys like an update midway through the season on the scouting probably, who I have scouted. But I have been told many times by a lot of Bengals fans to change and put Evans as the second back in our backfield. So Adrian Peterson, that's going to make him unhappy. And we might have to trade him away before the deadline. But Chris Evans, the rookie out of Michigan, has been playing very good you guys have been saying in preseason and in practice and it looks like he's going to be the number two back behind Mixon. apparently he's more of a receiving back as well so i'm not quite ready to make him the third down back but um because i think mixon has been very very well out of the backfield but as the season unfolds for the Bengals, we'll see if they utilize Mixon as a three down back or if they give evans reps depending on that will depend on what i do in this franchise i'm trying to make this as realistic as possible but Nonetheless, this has probably been one of the longer intros of the series so far. Let's just get into some gameplay and let's go 3-1 and one and beat the Jaguars on Thursday Night Football. The Jaguars are going to start on offense to begin this game. We're on defense. I think this game is going to come down to can we get pressure on Trevor Lawrence? Um, regardless of the sliders, we need to be able to get consistent pressure because our, uh, our secondary, for some reason, just loves... In this franchise and in the Giants franchise, they just love to give up a lot of yards to the air. Um, we do a really, really good job against the run, but in the air, it just it's like it's like we got a we got a sign on our face saying please pass against us every single play because running the football they're not too effective. Trevor Lawrence can't find a man; he's going to throw that one out of bounds. And early on, defense is holding up. We're going to bring a little bit of a blitz, or we're going to run a little bit of man coverage early on. Third and six. 
Can we get a stop on our first drive? And Trevor Lawrence obviously going to drop back in coverage. Von Bell can't lock up. Cameron Prate. Jesse Bates goes with the hit stick. And he holds on to the football to pick up the first down to our 49-yard line. It's going to be third and inches for the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're going to pinch the offensive line. They're going to th end up throwing the football. He's quickly going to find DJ Chark, who gets tackled by Trubo Wuzier. Trevor Lawrence already four for five. I just need to know what setting in the sliders you need to do for the quarterbacks not to throw 90% every single game. That, that's what needs to be fixed. But we got LaVishka Chenault, and we got the pressure, which forced an incompletion. Finally, uh, Trevor Lawrence throws. That's two incompletions now, but second and ten. We got to hold them to a field goal. We can't give up a touchdown on their first drive. It would be demoralizing for our team, but they're going to throw a halfback slip screen, make the tackle, Hilton, he does make the tackle, only a one-yard pickup for James Robinson on that play, we're going to, I went man coverage last third down, I think, or last time it was, third, I think it was third and six, one man coverage, gave it up to Cameron Brate, so we're going to go to a zone this time, third and nine, see if we can get a different result, I got Cameron Brate over the middle of the field, oh, oh, they're going to take a deep shot, one-on-one -on -one coverage, Jesse Bates almost intercepts that one, but he's able to bat it away, I think he was targeting Marvin Jones Jr. on that play, but, this was a 46, 47 yard field goal. That should be pretty easy for Josh Lamb, but pretty sure he's gonna make it. No questions asked yet. It's right down the middle. Three nothing early on. First play of the game on offense, we're gonna go with a little bit of trickery. We're gonna go with the play action jet sweep. See if we can catch them. Oh, we don't catch them at all. We get sacked by Miles Jack. He was not fooled, not even one bit. Second and 17 incoming. Third and nine upcoming for Joe uh, for Joe Burrow. I almost said Joe Mixon. We're going to scramble out. I see A's open. Can Joe Burrow make that throw? Uh, it's my, it's going to be it's gonna be intercepted. You know what, guys? You could take that as that's like an arm punt right there. You know, to the 39-yard line. Uh, maybe we could have done better there, but obviously we had no protection. That's scramble out. Scramble out. I threw it across my body. I throw. That's fine by Joe Burrow. Wasn't expecting a miraculous miracle right there from him to complete that throw. Wasn't expecting it. Uh, but the interception does suck a little bit. But now it's time for our defense to step up and get a stop. Third and nine for the Jaguars. We get the ball back super quick and super easy right here. Third and nine. Can't let them convert third and nine. This is tough to convert like in real life. They're going to they're gonna take the check down. Thank goodness Logan Wilson is there to make the tackle. Fourth and six upcoming. And Joe Burrow is going to get the football right back. Now we go straight back to the play action. The play action doesn't look like it's going to work. We're going to have A, and that's a beautiful throw by Joe Burrow, but Arden Tate could not get his second foot in bounds on that play. We're going to have to go slants here, third and four. Come on, we need to pick up one first down in our first two drives. We just have to. We're going to have Tyler Boyd. He's going to pick up this first down and more. Gets tackled by Shaquille Griffin, I want to say that's Shaquille Griffin. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they got Shaquille Griffin, Sidney Jones, and I think they might have Janoris Jenkins and C.J. Henderson as their uh, as their secondary unit. We're gonna hit who's Drew Sample, Uzoma out the backfield. They're not out the backfield, out the out the tight end position. Joe Burrow obviously finds him and completes it for another first down, back to back first down. Let's calm it down. Let's get let's not get too pass heavy now. Let's go and run the football. Joe Mixon pick up some yards. And uh, that's why we don't uh, we don't like to run the football because uh, more times than not it doesn't work. Back with the play action, we have Jamar Chase on this route. Jamar Chase, he catches it. He goes upfield. If his change of direction wasn't so slow, that would have been a touchdown. He was he had Joe Schobert on him, bro. He wasn't catching up to him. Jamar Chase got like 90 something speed on him. But now it's first and ten from the 12 yard line. I like this play a little bit. I don't like it a lot though. It ought and take just safe catch that. Gets us closer to scoring the touchdown. Play action on second and four. Oh, the blitz is coming. We just got rid of it. Is that 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 cannot be uh, intentional grounding? There's no way. It's gonna be rough in the passer, right? It's intentional grounding. There's what? How well, how is that intentional ground? Hold up, hold up, hold up. How is that intentional ground? That just ruined our whole drive right there. How's that intentional grounding if Joe Mixon is here though, right? Or, or am I? So not accurate. Joe Mixon. Yeah, he was kind of in the area, you know. But uh, all right, maybe maybe it might have been a little bit intentional grounding. But now third and seventeen, things are not easy here. I might just run it and take the, the field goal. But hey, bro, we're always taking our chances. And 
we almost get intercepted for taking our chance. The blitz was just unreal right there. But the kicker comes onto the field. I think this might be like our... I don't think we've really kicked field goals very often in this franchise. But we got to make this one. The power's there. The accuracy's there. It should be a tie ball game. And it's going to be tied 3-3 at the end of the first. Second and six for the Jaguars. They're going to hand it off to James Robinson again. James Robinson has a lot of space to run this time. Chuba Uze makes the tackle. Forcing him out of bounds at the 21-yard line. It's going to be first and goal for the Jaguars. It's either going to be a run or a play action. If it's a play action, I have confidence in sacking Trevor Lawrence. It's going to be a handoff to the fullback. The fullback's going to get in the end zone. And just like that, the Jaguars able to score a touchdown in less than what? In less than, that was like a 30-second drive right there. Or a minute, a minute and five seconds, I think, exactly. Joe Burrow back to pass on second down. We're going to find Auden Tate. The tight end gets it to the 33-yard line, makes it a definitely a third manageable. You know, wheel sport right here. I kind of want to hand this off on third and two. I don't know, though. I feel like Auden and Tate could get open. Same with T. Higgins. We're going to have Joe Mixon. We're not going to have Joe Mixon. That's not. I didn't think he was running that type of route. But we're going for it on fourth down. I feel like we have to to keep up with all Madden and the scoring output that they're going to have throughout this game. And we're going to have Auden Tate open. Auden Tate gets the first down to the 36-yard line. Jamar Chase, obviously. Joe Burrow, he's going to scramble out. Scrambles out to his right. He's going to pick up the first down. I go for the slide. Hey, yo, you serious right there? Jones, you're going to try, gonna try tackle me right there? You're crazy, bro. You can't take down big boy Joe Burrow. Come on, he's got a fully healthy ACL. You're not taking him down, bro. But first and 10 now, I don't want to I don't want to pass. We're going to go audible to the run. I feel like if I passed it right there in that play, I was going to throw an interception. I don't know why. Sometimes you just get those feelings. And anyways, pick up three yards. We're going to have w Puka Williams picking up the first down for us. For us coming out the backfield. Uh, I thought Chris Evans or Evans got the rookie out of Michigan with our second running back. But apparently right there, Williams getting a snap and a rep. Hey, it ended up working. And now we're going to have Morgan Jr. coming off the slant. Can Morgan Jr. get into the end zone? He dives and he takes it to the one-yard line. I think this is definitely a job for Joe Mixon to, to rush this one into the end zone. I don't want to risk throwing an interception. Honestly, let me RPO it. I'm not going to RPO it. I'm just going to hand it off to Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon uh, he's back again at the one-yard line. I think we're going to have to go like a I form uh formation let me see i form all right 95 mike get us into run behind our left guard and left tackle jonah williams please jonah williams get the block the blocking's there and joe mixon walks into the end zone and we're gonna have ourselves a tie ball game midway through the second quarter and they're gonna go back to it and james robinson's gonna be gone for a big gain he gets out of bounds at the 32 yard line what is going on with our run defense And they score a touchdown. LaVisca Chenault. Um, I don't know what's happened to the defense. I have no clue what's happened to the defense at all. Hey, man, it is what it is. Trevor Lawrence picking us apart. The good thing is we are going to get the ball back with a minute 26. And we do get the ball to start the second half. So if this is going to turn into a shootout, I like our odds. The protection's decent. T. Higgins, T. Higgins catch after the run. He picks up the first down, takes it to the 49-yard line with a minute left on the clock in the quarter. We're going to take a timeout, actually, yeah. Second and 10 at the 49-yard line. Could we pick up some yards? We're going to have Thaddeus Moss makes the grab, takes it close to the 41-yard line. We're going to go no huddle right here. Does take a decent amount of clock off, but we're going to go play action, take a deep shot here. We're going to go wide. It's a big boy, Arden Tate. And it gets just absolutely demolished. It just slapped out of his hand, bro. You got to have... You have to have stronger hands than that. You have to. As a, as a Dude, he's like 6'5", bro. We're going to go quick slant here. 30 seconds left. They, they're they probably bringing an all-out blitz. They are. And we're going to find CJ Ozoma real quick. He turns us upfield. Breaks one tackle. Takes it to the 21-yard line. We're going to take another timeout. That's two fourth down conversions on this drive. We're definitely in field goal range now, but... It's a little concerning to not see uh, Jamar Chase on the field. I'm not. I checked the medical. He's healthy. And Morgan Jr. is getting snaps over Tyler Boyd also. So Tyler Boyd must be some type of hurt at also. But we get rid of that as we get, or as we're about to get sacked. Fourth and ten. We're obviously going to kick the field goal here. Please, McPherson, make it. It's going to be an accurate kick. All right. He makes it. And it's going to be 17-13 heading into the locker room at halftime. 
I have no idea how we're going to win this game. We have uh, Morgan Jr., Higgins, and then when we go three uh, wide receiver sets, we have Drew Sample as our third wide receiver, so we lost. I mean, without Jamar Chase and Tyler Boyd, how are we supposed to put up points consistently? And we can't even run the football either. I'm frustrated, to say the least. I, Madden, fix your goddamn game, bro. Please, bro. Look at this. I have Drew Sample as my second wide receiver. Like, that can't be a thing. Where's Auden? Not even Auden Tate's getting snaps anymore, man. This guy Morgan Jr., though, is caring. Low key, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm literally gonna show you guys the depth chart, too. Like, obviously, like, why would I bench Tyler Boyd? At, like, coaching, medical center. Nobody's hurt except the Keen Gathers. Go over depth chart. Let's take a look. Wide receiver or wide receiver Jamar T against Tyler Boyd. Then I even have Auden Tate there. Morgan. Then I have Uzoma. Samples not even in my top six receivers right now, and he's getting reps. I literally changed uh, Tate. Uh, you know I'm gonna put him back here like that. Dude, what is going on? If we go over here to my slot wide receivers, hold up. Uh, slot wide receiver Tyler Boyd. Like, what, I, I don't understand what is going on right now. Are they, like, tired or something? Like, I can't. I genuinely cannot win this game with this. If I do, I'm I'm one of the best Madden players you'll ever see in this world. We might have to just keep uh, spamming the ball to Morgan Jr. Because he seems to actually be getting open close to every single time. But this is atrocious right now. Drew Sample, Daddy, Smalls, Uzoma. Like, what is going on? It's... It's honestly frustrating because how am I supposed to upgrade my players? How am I supposed to get them good stats in the season if they're just not playing? Like, not... I don't know, man. It's weird. It is really weird. Madden 21. They're t this is Madden 21.5 in my honest opinion. But Morgan Jr. is going to be open here off the slants. Morgan Jr. is going to hit Superstar X Factor before T. Higgins or any of my other receivers do. We're going to play action here now. Maybe Uzoma over the middle of the field. Uzoma over the middle of the field safe catches it he catches the ball to the 12 yard line Joe Burrow said listen I don't care who's out here you could you could give me a, a d3 athletes but I don't care who's out here I'm making plays happen Morgan Jr. again off the slant gets open he's quick in that slot role I'm not gonna lie I guess we'll go I'll go with the same exact play switch sides and maybe trick him a little bit think they were running something else but obviously I'm not throwing it to Drew Sample out of the wide receiver position and I gotta throw I can't throw it away. I can't throw it away to get sacked back at the 19 yard line. Joe Burrow back to pass. We're gonna have Adrian Peterson. He makes the catch. Adrian Peterson makes a man miss. Can he truck another one? He can't, but he takes it to the 10 yard line. We're gonna have to settle for another field goal on fourth and eight. Uh but obviously well, I told you already it's it's near impossible to win this game if they just randomly take out my players. Like, my players are just out. Like, I don't know what... I have no idea when they're going to come back. No idea. Third and five now for Trevor Lawrence at his 30-yard line. Obviously, he's not running the football, so we don't have to worry about the run right here. Over the middle of the field, we should have them both covered. He's going to throw the football away. We're going to get the ball back with a chance to take the lead. Third and six now. We're going to throw Jamar Chase on a slant route. Jamar, Jamar's open, Jamar's open. And we obviously, we just can't get it off. We cannot get it off in time. Fourth and six. Call me crazy, but I'm going for it in this situation. Just going to throw it up. Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase comes down with the catch. Jamar Chase. He breaks the tackle. Joe Schubert goes for the dive. And let's go, Jamar Chase. I'm fourth and six. The most electric play of the season. And that's why it's worth manually going through that hassle. Manually substituting in Jamar Chase every single play if I have to. Bro, because he is electric. Jamar Chase. What a legend he is, bro. He's so, so, so good. And then we're going to have T. Higgins catch at. Let's go. Safe catch. We take a 24-17 lead. Oh, that's going to be a pick six. Perfect timing user pick. Trey Waynes is going to take it to the house. And the Jacksonville Jaguars are unfolding in front of our eyes right now. We're going to take a two-score lead. I couldn't believe he actually threw that ball. Trey Waynes has uh, he's a hundred percent better than our uh, our best uh, corner. Definitely much better than Chuba, and definitely much much better than Mike Hilton. I think Hilton's been our probably worst corner so far this year. But Trey Waynes with the pick six. Him and Jamar Chase have probably been my two favorite players to use this year for sure. They're taking a deep shot. They're testing Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates 
No way. No way. No way, all Madden. No way. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened right there. 92 overall Jesse Bates lets that happen. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, <clears throat> let's just, just, let's just get a nice, nice, uh, instant replay of this. Actually, I just want to, you know, I take control of him here. I take control of him here. I go the perfect, perfect timing of the user pick. It really had to hit the hands like this, though. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, all right, I'm not going to be switching to user those type of plays, even though I literally just got the perfect time to use your pick, pick six. That should have definitely been an interception by uh, Jesse Bates. I know I put the interceptions down a lot, but with that being said, that's Jesse Bates 93 overall back there making that play. Uh, it's not no 75 overall corner. It's Jesse Bates. Uh, it should not be happening at all. Now we're back to this beautiful... All right, Jamar Chase is back in. Jamar Chase is back in. Now I guess we're just waiting on uh, Tyler Boyd to make his reappearance. But we're going to hit Morgan. Morgan Jr. has been really, really good in the slot, though. He picks up another first down. Joe Burrow back to pass again. We got Joe Mixon wide open out of the backfield. He goes for a truck. He doesn't get the truck on Henderson, but he is able to pick up another fresh set of downs. The offense is rolling right now, and I don't see any necessarily changes by the Jacksonville Jaguars so I think we could keep running this play and we can we find Joe Mixon again out of the backfield picks up back-to-back -back first downs on the same exact play they're not going to cover that they're not going to commit a flat there a hard flat then I'm going to keep I'm going to keep spamming it because if, if they if they commit a hard flat we're going to have either Tyler Boyd or Jamar Chase open on this play but they're not we still got Joe Mixon again. This time he picks up a little bit less yardage, but eight yards on first down still gets the job done. Third and two. This is a huge spot for Joe Mixon. Need him to pick up the first down here. Joe Mixon going to pick up, pick up the first down and more. Takes it to the three-yard line. Do I let him run this in? I think I might have to. I really think I, think, I think I would be an ass if I didn't let him run in. But Tyler Boyd, can you get another touchdown? T. Higgins, could you finally get involved for once? Tyler Boyd over the middle of the field, beautifully run route, and that's going to be another touchdown. Back to a two-score lead. The Jaguars defense just definitely has not shown up to play today. We got 38 points up on the board. That kick is going to be up, and it's going to be good. 38-24 to 24 lead. Joe Burrow's going to find Jamar Chase again. Jamar Chase takes it to the 46-yard line. Jamar Chase is so good. I really, I don't, I don't think we've uh, unveiled what his, uh, his development trade is just yet. But uh, I think in the next couple of weeks, we should get enough downs to unveil it. And hopefully, it's at least Superstar. And if it's at least Superstar after this season, uh, hope, hoping he wins maybe the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Maybe, depending on how the other rookies get along. But we're going to have Jamar Chase again. Oh, that was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. But uh, the Blitz came too strong. Third and five, 207 left. On third and five, we're going to hit Tyler Boyd on the slants. Tyler Boyd, Morgan, both of them in the slot receiving role have been really, really good this this uh, this year, honestly, because I'm pretty sure Morgan earlier on in the year played a big role. I think it was week one or week two uh, where he had a pretty breakout game. But uh, we're just going to finish off this game by running the football, force the Jaguars to waste all their timeouts. Third and five now at the 25-yard line. Joe Burrow, we're going to go back and throw this football. We're going to find... Who is that? Joe Mixon out of the backfield. We pick up three more yards. We get out of bounds, making it fourth and two. And our, our, our kicker's already, he already got enough time this game. Uh, enough shine, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be booth review. All right, bro, I'm pretty sure we didn't even complete the pass, actually. It's overturned, yeah. It's going to be fourth and five. Uh, but that doesn't change my game plan. We're going to throw the football. Might as well just try to pad the stats because I'm pretty sure the Jaguars can score two touchdowns in uh, a minute 46 on us with only one timeout left so oh we're gonna have tyler boyd too tyler boyd catch after the run tyler boyd pad your stats brother and the jaguars take their last and final timeout we find tyler boyd tyler boyd superman dives into the end zone i think that's his second receiving touchdown on the game 
Uh, Joe Burrow, what did he throw? Four passing touchdowns or three? Hey, the media was questioning Joe Burrow this week, and Joe Burrow stepped up in the bright lights of Thursday Night Football. We're going to take a 45-24 lead. The last snap for the Jaguars, even if they get it off, or they did get off the last snap. Oh, that was almost another interception, but that's going to be the ball game. We're going to get a 45-24, very, very, very con convincing W against the Jaguars. Let's take a look at the statistics. Joe Burrow threw the football 51 times, 33 of 51, three touchdowns, one interception, 440 yards. Trevor Lawrence wasn't too bad himself, 25 of 35, two touchdowns, that one interception, but that one interception was really costly considering it was a pick six. Then rushing the football, we had 13 rushes. Hey, we rushed it much more than the Jaguars. They ran it five, uh, seven, eight. They ran it nine times. We ran it, what, 15 times? Joe Mixon, not the craziest day on the ground. 49 yards, one touchdown, though. Uh, receiving, C.J. Ozoma, six receptions. Boyd, six. Stanley Morgan, six for 90. Very impressive stat line. Uh, Jamar Chase, four for 122. T. Higgins one for 15. We got to we gotta get T. Higgins involved more often somehow. I don't know. He just hasn't been getting open too much. Does it show targets? It doesn't even show targets. Let's take a look at the defensive side of the football. Uh, tackles for loss. Jordan Evans with one. Logan Wilson with one. Do we have any sacks? We didn't have a single sack this game. Interceptions, one for Trey Waynes and one for C.J. Henderson. Guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy. King Sir 7, and I'm out. Peace.